Good morning, guys and gals. Welcome back to Pikmin 4. Last time, oh man, we, our Dandori has never been stronger. Any updates on this castaway? What is their current condition? Mmm, fresh. The oddest thing is that they don't seem to need a helmet to breathe, and we have no idea how that's possible. They need to be examined by a doctor ASAP. To make that happen, we'll need you two to locate the remaining rescue officers and collect more treasure. Understood? Good, I hereby call this morning strategy session to a close. Officers, to your stations, please. And by that I mean like each of you move 15 feet away from me and stop looking. I'm self-conscious. Copy. <laughs> we can't have disease to meet now, can we? You're brimming with pup drive, Ochi. You can train with me anytime. That's all fine and dandy, but I'm I'm going over here. This is our morning routine, really. Is talking to Schnauz and talking to Cell. <laughs> Schnauz first. Why, hello. How are you? The sun is shining. Let's <laughs> talk about money. <laughs> uh, okay, where, where am I going? What's? Do we even have anything new? I guess we do. We have a strawberry. No matter how down you may be, those these tasty bursts of joy are almost sure to turn your mood around. That's because they're happiness in fruit form. As the name implies, they plant seeds of sunny warmth in the middle of your heart, and there they grow, like an invasive species of happiness. Okay, can't- I don't- have, there's not much there that I can argue with. Is there anything else? I thought we had two. Yeah, we got this. The mysterious <laughs> carriage. I want to observe this real quick. That's a pumpkin, all right. I don't know what I expected to see. <laughs> I understand that ancient <laughs> literature. I'm sorry. I, I legitimately have no reason, no idea why I just decided to observe that. <clears throat> I understand that ancient literature of this, from this planet tells of a noble woman who used this fruit's rind as a carriage. Clever. Additional lore tells of some sort of midnight deadline and missing footwear. Literature is complicated. That it? That's it. We really didn't... We kind of dropped the ball last episode on tr when it came to treasure. That's fine. This is what people came to see or hear. <clears throat> Just imagining unknown creatures makes my little heart go ba bump the thump Now then, if you want to have a really fun time, why don't we imagine the ecology of various wild creatures together? Oh, I guess we can do... We'll do six new ones per episode. I, I didn't realize that the lines are going to change as we go. That's fine. <clears throat> Settling its unwavering sights on its target, it makes a ferocious mad dash at full speed. Even if you hit its really, it, even if you hit it really hard, you won't slow down this bold beastie. It single-mindedly carries through its actions with an unwavering focus that inspires me to improve my focus on my own tasks. Oops, I just marked them all red. That's fine. With its powerful jaws, the male shear grub can secure more food than the female. But it doesn't keep it all for itself. Right now, in the ground under our feet, mated shear grub pairs are sharing food with each other. What a generous, snuggly grub. It may be small, but it's full of vim and vigor. It hovers in midair, then zips straight to its target. And once it has prey in its jaws, it locks on tight and won't let go. Much like myself. The Shearwig, a cunning and fierce survivor, has a death grip on my heart and soul. If you were swept up and tossed away by those long, dangling arms, I think you'd better understand what it feels like to be a Pikmin. A little courage is all you need to give it a try. Consider it a learning experience. 
In both vibrant spring color and precise shape, this cunning crawler looks just like a leaf. It's the perfect camouflage. It only becomes an issue when this sometimes careless critter forgets to look for a hiding place with an abundance of other green leaves lying around. Then, it becomes quite easy to spot. This one is a master of disguise, provided the season is right. As a fun little game, try collecting a bunch of dried leaves, then shuffle Mr. Desecrated Skitterleaf in with them. If you pick out a normal leaf, you lose, but if you pick this clever critter, you win big. Feeling lucky? That's enough story time with Cell. Yeah, honey. How could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready to take another look. Aha, I've been watching you two progress, and you have inspired me to create a new training course. You see, when you're plucking Pikmin Sprouts, I believe Ochi can help if he learns pluck. No ball. I've also added some training to deep... In the last episode, we got our blue onion. And with that, I feel like a lot more has opened up to us. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to sprout blues and primarily blues. I want to get our numbers up because if you remember, we have a couple of quests that involve getting more Pikmin. And I haven't really done that. I haven't really fixated on that. I've been, I've been too, I've been too focused on how many, um, or on, on the fact that I'm capped on how many Pikmin I can have out at one time. So we're going to we're going to start sprouting some blues. Uh, Ochi, go there. Actually, did I give I did not give him pluck. Uh, I decided to go with super buff because I, I mean in my mind. Oh, that's still here. In my mind, the more things I can have Ochi do, the less risk to my Pikmin. And ultimately, this is a. Uh, a low death run. Low death run. Uh, they can do that. I'm not trying... To, well, I'm trying right now to get no Pikmin. Lose no Pikmin, but obviously I'm not going to restart the run if that doesn't pan out. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Is there anything even... Ah, there is! Florlic! Perfect! Awesome. That's, that's exactly what we need for this objective today. And also, I need to... I need to pay close attention to when enemies... Oh, boy. To when enemies respawn, because I have no idea when they when they are. That's gonna be... That's gonna be a little bit weird. Um, I'm probably gonna be taken by surprise by that at some point. Maybe they don't respawn. That would be neat. No, no, I don't think there were any enemies this way. I could be wrong. But I, th I think we're good. Oh, mid tights! Mid tights! Can they kill Pikmin in this game? Are we fine? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. They look just as disgusting as ever. I love them. Ah, yes. I forgot about the floor. Yeah, this is gonna be a blue day. We can take, what, 60 out? 70? 10 more? I don't, I don't remember how, what that means, if it's 50 or, or 60 or 70. Yeah, this... Oh, I'm close to treasure. Neat. I have not... I haven't been here. Whoa! Get over here, get over here! Did he just eat one? I don't know. Hi? Uh, wait, 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 actually, actually. Uh, let me go to my settings real quick. And remember what I have. Bomb rocks, pivot carrots. Let's go with an ice blast. Oh. Whoops. 
Uh, before I do that, I'm not really set up to fight anything right now. I just moved my onion over here. I should probably get some ice Pikmin around me first. And then we'll go fight that monstrosity from, you know, hell. How many can we take out? 60. All right, let's let's uh, let's put some of these away. Take out some of these. Actually, let's just take out the rest of these. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. There's a boss here. I wanted to go in the water, but this is an immediate threat. I don't know how Pikmin are going to path if I end up coming out in a cave later on. So we're gonna do this, and then I'm also gonna check my settings again. Bomb rock, okay. Um, can I leave everyone behind? And then I'll get ready to whistle him. Yeah. Alright, come on, come on out. Throw! Wow. Okay. Um, sure. I'll take it, I guess. And this is one of the few, um, uh, above water things. A golf ball? Sweet. And then what else? Oh, Ochi, Ochi. Ochi! Go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I need you, buddy. Okay, I did break them. I did break those. Uh, I can do that. I'm kind of paranoid now. We had like a creeping chrysanthemum mimic there. Uh, have I been there? Have I been? Yeah, I've been. I've been over there. That's just a a, a shortcut. Okay, so let's uh, actually let's get let's get them on that. Ochi. You break that. Whoa! I did not expect that. Okay, and then we're supposed to climb up there. Uh, I can't climb up there with... With Ochi. Go back to base, buddy. Go to base. And then we'll just wait on, uh, wait on those Pikmin to come back. And while that happens... Let's take a look at everything. What's... You're new. Ultimately, I kind of want to go into this cave that we tried to go into yesterday, but... I also want to clear out the water. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over there. We can really just go anywhere. Maybe I put this on hold. I almost feel like I put this on hold. Because there's, there's more places to go that way. Yeah, I think I I think I put this on hold. I think I would rather explore the water cuz that was that was my intent. I'm also out of raw materials. Somehow. I I guess I I just spent a ton, so yeah, no, we actually can't do that. Okay. Um with that in mind, I don't know if freezing that freezes the the Wallywog. Also, I apologize if you're a new Pikmin fan and and call them Wally Hops. I I grew up in America, and uh, for better or worse, uh, I grew up calling them Wally Hops. That's just that's just how I grew up. Uh, I don't think I really want ice. I think I'm gonna make use of some of my items. Yeah, there we go. We have we have 60 blues, and then I wanna I wanna give this a shot. Switch this over to Ice Blast. I have so many different tools at my disposal, I might as well try and use them all, right? Oh, those cost raw materials! Even if I have them? That's weird. Alright, here we go. Our first wall walk of the game. Oh, the dog is swimming, so I can't actually make use of him. Alright, sorry, this isn't our first wall walk. We fought one before. So I just know that they, they jump really fast. They jump really fast, and I don't know if they can... Dunlock Pikmin. No, they seem fine. I, I don't really want to swarm them yet. I'm going to play this safe. Oh! Yeah, they don't seem that ha half bad. 
They're fine. I mean, we're gonna f have to fight another one in a second, but I'll have Ochi for that one. Uh, Ochi cannot carry that. Man, they're so fast in the water. Oh my word. I should just be using the swarm mechanic all the time. They're so fast. Also, that's really funny. I wish I could jump in the boat, because that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. That thing should float. It's like kind of floating, but not really. Okay, uh, Ochi, uh, I still need you. 30's gonna be enough for this chump. He's just a he's a bozo. He does not matter. Lots of enemies over here. Oi! Hey, could you do me a favor? Jump at me? Uh, Sir Lee's fine. Oh, it actually is fine. These... Man, man, I have some childhood trauma to work through. Wallywogs aren't nothing. What is that? What do you do? It looks like he probably has some sort of like sucking attack. But he also takes his dear sweet time. What are you doing? Okay. Um, maybe that'll just, whoa, 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 get out of the way. Is that a treasure that he just sucked up? Weird. So you could get the treasure without having to kill him. That's new. Uh, do five, two. Yeah, let's do the full suite. Let's do the full suite. We're trying to get more Pikmin. We have some achievements to get from doing so. So let's let's just throw everybody on this. I'm almost acting like I'm playing a challenge mode and I don't need to sprout Pikmin at all, but that's just not true. There are... Whoa! Oh. Okay. <laughs> the dog... The dog honestly looks kind of happy. Looks like he's having a grand old time. Where do you... Come on. Uber. And we'll deal with them in a moment. Cloaking Barrow Nits, I believe. Ooh, I also need to remember that I have spicy sprays, because I have a ton now. Nice. Okay, they'll do that. And is there another place I can explore? I can go up there, I guess, but I have to take out... Really? I'd have to take out yellows to do so if I wanted to clear that gate. I'm going to treat that... Ooh, actually, this is a good idea. I'm going to end my day by going up there. That makes much more sense, because it's close to home, and I can just go there. Okay. That's that's my plan. I have 27 of these guys. That should be enough if I, if I spicy spray them. And then we can start making our way that way, although it's giving me some PTSD of uh, the, the quaggled mire clops. Okay. Up on the D-pad. What? What? Did I not assign that? I did not. Oh, it's down on the D-pad. I'm dumb. Get on Ochi. Get the charge ready. This is probably my strongest way of attacking. I need to get behind it. Boom. And maybe I just jump off of him. And... Not a problem. I don't know why I was scared. Okay. Uh, what is that over there? I oh cheap. I don't need you. I don't need you to handle that. Thank you, buddy. I I appreciate you. Uh, you could go to base though. Uh, yeah. Also, did I mention my upgrades? I don't think I did. Uh, I got I got a couple upgrades. I got um, I full I made myself tough and then I made myself tough again. So I'm actually kind of a monster now. We'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, I will, really won't take that much damage from anything. Uh, I also... I didn't make Ochi tougher, just because I feel like I can kind of control when he takes damage for the most part. Because I'm the reason why he takes damage. Wallywog, are you good? I'm gonna try swarming it. Might be a mistake. Whistle him off. That's how you do it. I don't know why I'm playing so safe with them. They've already demonstrated that they really aren't that tough. They're really not that bad. Wow. That was four Pikmin. And I did not care. Uh, can I take care of this? Is this something I can... 
No. That's wacky. Go. Camera, get on my way. Ah, he kind of teleported there. Wow. All right. All right. That's not bad. Uh, Ochi. It's a little bit awkward because, you know, you're here. I could probably have left the Pikmin here, to be fair. Uh, you get back. Where's, where's my captain? Where am I? Oh, I'm way over there? Oh, my word. Yeah, go over this way. Ooh, it's about to- ooh, it's about to turn- it's about to turn night, so I'm... Ah. I wanted to go in that cave. So I can't- You know what? Yep, 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 That's my cue. That's my cue. That's my cue. I'm done. I'm done. That took- that takes 50? That's actually perfect. Uh, Ochi's on his way. We'll swarm that while we're at it. Hey, just in time, my friend. Uh, or maybe I leave that for now. You know, I think I, I will leave that for now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that for now. I have a bomb. Oh, he, he brought it to my body. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave these for now just because, uh, it's going to behoove me to move my base over here. And it's in the best interest of my Dandori to just do it this way. We'll grab that check our map, make sure we don't have any stragglers, and then we're going to go try and go in that cave. That's how we're going to end off today. It almost feels like this hasn't been the most eventful day, but I'm going to make up for it in the cave. And again, any day that I... I get something done without losing Pikmin is an absolute win in my book. And as I say that, I'm going to come across this guy. Oh... Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> Come on. Take the turn tight. Go. Okay. All right. Got it done. Uh, Ochi, I'm going to have you attack them. Ooh, actually. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's speed run this a little bit. Bomb rock. Uh, and actually, command? I'm going into a cave, it doesn't matter. Go! Go, 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 blow up! Yes, perfect. Alright, and then, now... Ochi! Blow that up! Destroy it! And let's go inside! The Sightless Passage. Oh boy. A cave of utter darkness into which almost no light filters. I explored for a bit, relying on the glowing mushrooms to guide the way, but I turned back to avoid unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp at my disposal. I'm starting to regret this business buy. Ooh. Ah, uh, that's... That's worrisome. I don't have the headlamp, and when the game is explicitly telling me I need this item, maybe I don't risk it. Like, part of me is like, oh, it's for content, let's go, but I also haven't lost a Pikmin, so I, I feel underqualified to make that task. Okay, um... That's where the Pikmin is. So I need to... I can place a beacon, right? Place pin. Okay, I, I guess I need to focus on getting my... Getting my Pikmin back, and then we'll just call it a day. I kind of hate to do that, but... Uh, it's it's the right call. We'll get the headlamp tomorrow. I can't actually afford the headlamp. That's the kind of the the rough part. So maybe ew. the future's uncertain right now. Come on. Okay, I got I got my last Pikmin. I have zero loose. Can we do anything? Maybe it's killing that frog dude, or at least bringing some Pikmin back. Let's take a look at our numbers. And then maybe we can get something in the eight seconds we have left. Yeah, we can we can get these back. We can get some more ice. Yeah, we have more than enough time to do this. Let's get more than 35 Pikmin. Pikmin, please. Okay. 
All right, Ochi. Sure, for the yellows. Goofballs. Nunfree. All right. I. That was a day, I guess. Sheesh. You know, I guess we did get a lot done. We got Florlic. We got... We got a bunch more blues. We're really not burdened by the number of Pikmin we have, or even the amount we can take out anymore. Ochi can take out 20 Pikmin. I think we're we're sailing pretty pretty high. We got a bunch of upgrades, and we know a path forward. And I think that's the important thing. Sometimes you just gotta pave the way. No one rescued. No treasures gotten. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Why did I think that? I, I literally got four. <laughs> Unfloatable boat. Orbital communication sphere. Octoplus and harmonic synthesizer. But only 2%. Maybe it's time I, I stop playing so uh, conservatively. Hmm, no matter how much I look at them, I'm still confounded. These treasures are mysterious things. Indeed, who made them, and for what possible nefarious purpose? Think back to that treasure we found the first day, the Stone of Advancement. It was able to open and close, right? Maybe it was intended as some sort of makeshift shelter for to provide its creator from the wind and the rain. <laughs> Interesting theory, though my likely incorrect. Who could say what that was for? Well, um, snap, I'm almost tempted just to record another episode. Usually I record one and then call it a day, but I think I might record another one. All right, I, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning.